I have never been pulled over in Missouri. So what's it uh, equivalent to horsepower wise? Um, I don't know what it is horsepower. It's 492 pounds. So uh, I want to say it's equivalent to uh, like a like a 900 cc maybe. 900 like cc. It's uh, you can get a bigger uh, a bigger sprocket on the back, which will increase your uh, your torque and your get up and go. It'll do a with with a bigger sprocket, it'll do zero to sixty in 2.9. 2.9. Which is, is as fast as uh, it invites you to get on the market. That's insane. So, so you, you bought it at Young Bloods here in Ozark how long ago? Uh, probably about six, seven months. Six, seven Something months. Like that. And uh, yeah, like I said, you can get a bigger sprocket or you can get a uh, you can get a, an adaptive charger. Uh, instead of having this, it's got like a glove box almost right here that uh, you can just store your stuff in, what have you. Mm-hmm. So instead of the gas tank. Instead of the gas tank, you got all that room there. Right. And it's uh and it's actually it's an enduro. So off-road on road. Cool. These tubeless knobby tires, uh, they'll go just about anywhere. It doesn't like grass because it's so torquey. Uh, but other than that, yeah. That's amazing. That's it right there. Get a logo shot. Yeah. And he, okay, that's telling him how much he's got. Like, yep, 50, how much battery I have left? 56%. 50 yep. Percent left. And then do your miles an hour. Uh, so could you literally go from here to Branson, play oh. around, and come back? Oh, no problem. On the highway, on the highway, it's rated to uh, like 198 miles. Is the range on it? And if I'm going like, if I'm zipping in between, you know, into house to house, it'll do about 150 miles. Uh, you know, collectively. Uh, like this is, it's only got 940 on it right now. Uh, and when you pick it up, uh, they give you a, uh, a tax credit for $1,500. So that, that helps knock the price off of it a little bit. They're a little bit pricey, but you know, for a hundred thousand, for a hundred thousand miles, you know, how can you really put a price on that? What bike have you ever heard that's gone a hundred thousand miles? You know? Right. That's cool. Well, I seen the cop pull you over, so I thought I'd just whoop in here. I wanted to stop you. Like I say, I seen you when you was coming down, uh -huh. and he put his lights on like really quick. I was already wanting to come back and you know see if I could catch it. I right. thought you was going to Young Bloods. Right. Yeah. I need to. I need to because see, I learned how to ride on this, and uh, these bars are actually bent right now. I learned how to ride on it. That's why this, uh, this turn signal is uh, missing. I never, I never uh, learned on a regular bike. My parents were you know iffy about it or whatnot. Uh, All right, man. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I was actually trying to get the registration. Oh, I tell you what. That's a shame. Swear to God. Got him in handcuffs. Stupid.
have no words for this. And it gets even worse, because as some people are pointing out, CNN just committed a crime, violating section 135.60 of the New York Criminal Code on Coercion, specifically subsections 1, 5, and 9. And, to top it off, they may have committed a felony violation of 18 U.S. Code section 241, Talk in relation to the First Amendment, talking about oppressing or threatening or intimidating persons in the free exercise of their free speech. So there you go, guys. If they are found guilty of that, they could be imprisoned for no more than 10 years. Um, so good luck, Andrew Kaczynski, now that you have openly doxxed and threatened someone. Um, absolutely insanity going on right now. But that's the uh, media world that we're living in.